Dante Bravo of the Global Ferro Nickel Holdings uh, Incorporated. It's a publicly listed company in the Philippines engaged in nickel mining. I am the president and CEO. I am also the president of the Philippine Nickel Industry Association. Uh, it's comprised of seven nickel mining companies in the Philippines. Uh, it's responsible for exporting uh, 40 to 50 percent of the exports uh, in nickel ore in the Philippines. Well, in the long term, we're still very, very uh, bullish because of two things. Uh, there's still a growing um, demand for the stainless steel, uh, even if there's a, a slowing uh, Chinese economy. But overall, uh, it has been uh, the, the growth in the stainless steel sector is still growing, uh, about three to four percent, and uh, uh, two thirds, or more than two thirds, of the nickel supply basically goes to the to the stainless steel. But uh, there's also another um, driver, which is the uh, technology in the battery uh, production, uh, skewing towards uh, the use of more nickel. And so that's basically the price driver moving forward. And right now, although it's uh, about 5% of the total demand, uh, uh, we see um, probably in 5 to 10 years, uh, a more pronounced demand on the battery sector for the use of nickel. Yeah, as like I said, the stainless steel and, uh, and the battery sector, uh, of course, there are other uses for aerospace, for, um, for the water system, for the, for the power sector, uh, because of this. Uh, and then uh, there's also the emergence of use of, uh, of nickel. Uh, of course, in, this is in the stainless steel, like in the use of roofing. They're not using basically roofing uh, uh, stainless steel, and so that, that's interesting also. Yeah, it's very, very uh, uh, excellent uh, learning opportunity. I wish we have this kind of uh, conference also in the Philippines, where we get ed educated on various commodities, uh, and the outlook uh, and demand, and uh, political, economic situations in each countries how we can benefit from how they have managed uh, their issues in the mining industry. Uh, yeah. Seems there's some commonality uh, and, and some of the issues surrounding the mining industry. But the thing is basically, uh, we learn of course, there's that anxiety, there's that uh, anti-mining sentiment we all have to, to address. So the thing is we really have to educate more and more people, particularly the young ones, the government, uh, so there is a rise of populism. And of course, uh, a collaboration among different sectors on how to improve the image of the uh, mining sector in general.